everyone, Heather here, professional makeup artist with Illuminous. And today on our pro tip, we're gonna talk about airbrush essentials. Why? Because it's essential. Now I'm gonna go over the use of each one, plus I'm gonna show you how to use it and some tips and tricks. Now let's talk about porcelain. Porcelain is one that you would use if your face is a little bit depleted, dehydrated, if you need to plump up wrinkles and crinkles. I know I focus the porcelain around my eye area for those crow's feet. You can use about three, four drops of porcelain and spray that all over or concentrate in certain areas. It is colorless, so you can use it before foundation or even after foundation, which I'm going to show you as well. If you want to use it afterwards, let's say maybe you weren't paying attention and you got a little heavy handed with the airbrush, you can actually use it afterwards to help kind of settle everything. Again, because it's colorless, it's not going to show up anywhere, but it will help freshen and kind of settle the makeup. So porcelain is great to use. Now let me show you how I apply porcelain before my foundation. Now, let me show you how you can use porcelain after your makeup. Porcelain, again, is colorless, so you can use it before or after. Try it both ways. Try it before, try it after, and see what gives you the best look. Now let's talk about eraser. Bum, bum, bum. Eraser is an airbrush essential that is in one color. So it is very light and you don't want it to look like this. That's right, you don't want to concentrate in just one area making it wet and super, super light. You're going to hit those problem areas and blend it out. If you have redness, imperfections, light colored sunspots, things like that, you can use eraser for that. I use it for my redness on my cheeks and my nose to help start that pre-coverage. And you don't have to cover it 100%. Again, we want it to be very sheer. You're putting it on in, in light passes. You're not gonna see that super whiteness of the makeup right away. If you do, that means you're applying too much too soon. You wanna make light passes on those problem areas. Th two, three, four drops is all you will need. Now let me show you how I applied it. The last one I wanna talk about is X Out. Now with X Out, it does come in different colors, so you wanna look at the color to see what's gonna be the best fit for you and your skin tone. But think of X Out as Xing Out Dark Circles. I actually am using the medium shade, and I'm using about three to four drops, so this will give you a little more coverage. It's a step up in coverage. If you like more coverage, if you feel you need more coverage, then you'll want to use X Out. I can use X Out underneath my lids are dark, so I also use it on my lids, but still with this redness, I can still go in and cover the redness with my X Out as well. I'm all about making things simple, so I pick one that I need for that day and that's the one I use. If I turn and look in the mirror and the first thing I see is my redness, then I'll use eraser. But then if I turn and look at the mirror and I see darkness, then I'm going to use my X out. A little bit goes a long way because when you're airbrushing airbrush essentials on, you're still doing it in very light, passes. Remember with airbrush makeup, you're using 10 times less makeup, so you're only using drops at a time. Eraser, porcelain, and X out, you would do before the foundation and then go straight into the foundation or contouring or blush, whatever you like for that day. My looks change all the time. So watch here while I use X out.
Now there are some times that I use X out alone. If I have one of those no makeup days, if I'm just putting up Christmas decorations or hanging out of the house, I can do X out around my eyes to even out my skin tone on my lids, underneath, even, even out the redness. And because we're airbrushing that on, it's giving me the coverage that I need, but I'm not gonna have any demarcation lines. So it gives me a very fine, flawless look with not adding a lot of makeup for that no makeup makeup look. So I hope that answers all your questions about airbrush essentials on when to use them, how to use them, and some added benefits with them as well. But I know it's going to be essential for you to check them out at luminouscosmetics.com so you can get your airbrush essentials. Thank you so much for joining me and I can't wait to see you next time on the Pro Tip.